Hi, George. How's it going, mate? I'm loving the retro shirt. Thanks. Thanks. Hi, you guys. I hope you're well. Yeah, I mean, look, I think, um, I don't know how you're feeling, but I'm just feeling with a whole weight lifted off my shoulders now the season's finished. It's time to relax now. Uh, well, I say time to relax. We still don't have a manager or a sporting director and the club is still in an absolute shambles, but I'm just happy this season's behind us. You feeling the same? Yeah, I am. I, I, I really was. I've, I've been sort of really uh, downbeat um, sort of the last few weeks with everything that's been going on. It's been really difficult trying to get spirits up for each game as it's coming and each one is a disappointment. Um, I don't know. The only plus side really for me for today was Lucas's goal. Um, I just want to say what a class act yeah. uh, Lucas Mora has been for all the criticism that he's received and you know he's just continued to play uh with his heart on his sleeve and and as a real ambassador for the club um you know he's never really outwardly moaned or anything like that he's given us some sensational moments as well so i just really you know if if he's if any of his entourage or if he's watching i just want to say thanks lucas for all those moments um but it's, yeah, it, it's difficult. I mean, like you say, no manager, no director of football. It's really, it's, the season's finished, but to a certain degree, I'm really worried over the next, you know, few weeks. You know, we're obviously not going to sign anybody until we get a director of football. Um, I can't see Harry Kane staying. So unless there is a huge, huge rebuild, um, then I, I think we're going to have another real drudgery of a season next next season as well you know it, it's just it, it's um I'm, I'm struggling to see some light at the end of the tunnel mm. and george you mentioned no manager and no sporting director but also no european football next season as well after villa pipped us to the last conference league spot for you were you hoping Bright, um, brighton could do us a favor or are you pretty happy to not be in that competition no um i don't want any european football i just think that it's pointless I think it's it's pointless um, because we don't have the players to compete at that level, whether it be Conference League or the Europa League and certainly not the Champions League. I think the only thing that we're doing by being in those competitions is is just putting, you know, money into Enid coffers as far as I, I, I can see. I, I was always very much, I'm a bit of a convert on this, I was always uh, very much that you've got to be in Europe each season. You, you've got to have the profile there for players to see, to attract players. But ultimately, if you're not going to spend money on wages, if you're not going to invest in managers, if, you're, um, if your recruitment is going to be as poor as, as, as our recruitment's been, it's just a waste of time. I'd rather we, we, we concentrate on trying to get an FA Cup or a Carabao Cup, because um, really, I, I just think that re that's our level at the moment i don't think we um we should be looking any higher than that um unless we're ready to compete for those larger trophies mm -hmm. and uh, at the moment I, I can't see i can't see how that's going to happen with the players we've got what do you think a prospective manager's opinion might be on it do you reckon they'd rather they can't take over a team that's in europe or do you reckon they'll be happy to have that extra time on the training pitch uh, it's going to be how you sell it to the manager, isn't it? Because if it's a young manager like a Nagelsmann, um, he's going to see it as being a, a challenge. You know, let, let's you know, let's get this club into you know into Europe. Let, let's get us winning, um, winning domestic trophies. So I, I think it it will depend on the manager that you are that you're lining up. Um, I think that we need to be going for a manager who's who's young, who's um, energetic and, and who's willing to take up that challenge because I think you know, any any more um, you know someone who's more um, uh, long in the tooth I, I just don't think he's going to want to hack it the, the grief that this job is going to bring them is just really not worth it so you know it, I still think that we may be in with a shot for Nagelsmann if if Levy gets desperate enough which could well happen um, over the next couple of weeks so, you know, he, he does need to go begging bowl in hand now because we've really made ourselves the pariah of the football manager contingent. Um, so let's see. I mean, I, I, I think it's more a winner for a player as opposed to a manager. 
But again, if you're not going to pay their wages and you're not going to, you, you, again, your recruitment's going to be crap, then there's no point. In terms of looking forward to next season, you say, you know, you don't see any light at the end of the tunnel, which I kind of feel a bit similar to you. But with the recent performances of Basuma and Pedro Porro, especially today, do you see that maybe there is quite, you know, there's talented players here to work with for next season if we do get the managerial appointment right, isn't there? Yeah, I, I, again, I kind of slightly disagree with the criticism that Richarlison's received this season. I mean, he's had some significant injuries um, he's had a difficult World Cup and he's also been thrown in the melting pot that has been Tottenham Hotspur. And it, none of those things are easy for these players. The problem is the responsibility is falling on, on, on shoulders here, on too few shoulders. So there is, you know, Pedro Porro, I think, is, you know, someone who got, I think Emerson Royale gets a bad, um, a bad rap. Um, I think there is a lot of pressure. What the, the mistake that's happened at Tottenham is a when when Poch was was um, was was sacked, um, it was done so so poorly, um, and in my opinion, he shouldn't have been sacked anyway. But the, the reality was there was a there is a core of players there that does not belong at Tottenham anymore. We need to have moved on, and that that moving on never happened. So the investment in that side. Has been missing for a while if the club decides to throw money at it which is what's needed unfortunately so if you're going to get the bigger players in they're going to have to open the purse strings get them in otherwise next year it could be i mean can you imagine if harry kane isn't part of the team next season mm -hmm. and we stick with what we've got i mean you know it's we're going to be like everton were you know today i mean it's i hate to say it but we're not much of a club without harry kane and you're going to put more of a burden on all those players. I mean, they're just going to want to leave. I mean, it's just that they need to they need to see it for what it is at the moment. And we're getting torn apart by you know the the, the factions within the in the in the fan base and just generally the, the the board being so incompetent on football matters that. I, 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 as I say, I struggle to to see a light at the end of the tunnel and 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 see where the end is going to come. I mean, if we were to get in a, a fantastically good manager now, um, and that they are, you know, they really do go all out for trying to get some some new players. Maybe, maybe we can we we can get the the, the fan base together and and push on for next season. But, you know, with no Nagelsmann being in sight, with no slot being in sight, you know, and everybody turning us down, it's just really difficult to, 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 to motivate yourself to, to really look at the, the, the press at the moment or Twitter or, or anything. Yeah, I mean, look, there's been some worrying comments from Kulusevski after the game as well. I mean, only a few months ago, he was coming out in the press saying he feels like a Tottenham player. Now he's saying he doesn't know if he's going to be here next season or not. Is that worrying for you? Yeah, it is. You know, obviously, Kulu is one of the um, shining lights in uh, sort of in that, you know, in the club. Him and Bentoncourt. I mean, if you think about it, they came together. Would Bentoncourt want to stick around if if Kulu's not there and we don't have a, a high profile manager? Um, it's just like I said. I mean, it, it's it's a bit of a mess, and that's an understatement, as as we all well know. So. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm, I'm donning a retro shirt because I just don't want to be seen wearing Nike stuff or, or, or anything that's really going to pr promote this regime. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm really disappointed. Half my wardrobe is is bloody Nike gear, you know, that I've sort of stashed to one side. <laughs> that I've spent the fortune on. But, you know, I just don't burn feel like right wearing it. George, burn it all. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could. I wish I could. I'm, I'm too much of a diehard, unfortunately, to do anything <laughs> like that. But, I mean, I've renewed my season ticket and the day after we lost to Brentford. Um, but, you know, look, it's, um, it's going to be a difficult season. Um, just strapping myself in here and um, trying to get ready for the um, for the rocky road that's going to be, I think, the um, uh, what we're going to be faced with. Look, the problem is that so many other clubs have strengthened as well. We've got Arsenal there, we've got um, um, Newcastle, you know, it's it's going to be really difficult. I mean, uh, Villa are probably going to, to strengthen, I would imagine, as well. 
uh, Liverpool, they're regrouping. Um, I, I just, it's it's going to be really, really tricky. If they want Champions League, if, if Enoch want Champions League football for Tottenham, then they are going to have to spend and spend big. If they are indifferent um, to what's actually happening on that football field, they're going to get found out very, you know, very soon. I'm, I'm talking about this transfer window. Because if they don't, like I said, next season is going to be a bigger shit show than, than this season's been. George, it's been a pleasure speaking to you throughout the season. Hopefully we'll get to speak to you over the summer and obviously we'll be keeping up next season as well. But it's been a pleasure having you on throughout the season. Guys, well done for the season as well. You know, it's not been an easy one and you guys have always kept that upbeat profile and um, we try continue anyway. to... <laughs> well, you continue to continue to sort of, um, you know, you know, fight the good fight and um, be on here for all of us. So thank you guys as well. And um, come on, you Spurs.